Uh, this is a short film to walk you through the curve tools. The three main ones are these first three here. And I'm using uh, TurboCAD Professional Platinum 18 for this. So the first one I can, you'll notice as I click, the curve is sort of influenced by where I'm clicking, but the curve is not going through where I click. On the second one, however, it's spined by fits points, it will go through. So if I want to, uh, if I've got predetermined places, curve has got to go through, I can snap. So here I'm doing a G snap, I'm snapping through the grid, and I could obviously snap to uh, use any of my snap modes. And then close it. The third one is a, a bezier. And this one again, it will snap through the parts that I go to. And obviously, uh, the line will go through rather and obviously I can use any snaps so I can right click to close this or come down the left hand here and close it there. Now where these uh, <coughs> uh, change is when we go to edit them. So if I go select up here, sorry, if I go the edit tool, second one down, in everything up to 18 I'd click on here select tool and then we'd get a box of four. Now with 18 the edit tool is under the select. If I click on to any of these we see we've got these nodes which you can push and pull around. And if you needed to be more accurate, if you take the cursor to the to the edge, to the on the edge of the line, and hit C, um, you can add extras. Oops, what am I doing? Sorry, I let's get out of that. Messed that up somehow. I came out of there, and I can go Control. You see, there you go. And I can add as many nodes as I wish there. And this one here is exactly the same. Want an extra node? Put it there. Click on Control. You've got another one. Now the bezier or bezier is is rather different because on here, um, when we go into select mode, we've got these blue nodes, but we also have these green sort of handles. So we've got potentially we far greater control. Uh, can make more unusual shapes and again if we need an extra mode we go near it push down control left click and we get one I think what I was doing wrong before is I was clicking then pushing down with control you just got to get the right way around so they're as simple as that really. now the next three tools along is this one here which is a sort of etch a sketch really I mean it's just sort of you know you can do you can sort of I don't know, draw people I suppose There you go. So you can uh, let your kids play with that one, I suppose. I can't see where I've put much use for it, really, but uh, you may find a use for it somewhere. The next one here, the fifth one, is the cloud. It's a revision cloud. So this is a, if you take your drawing, if you get a drawing sent and you make notes on it or you make changes to it, what you do is you put those changes or those notes in a cloud and then when you send it back to the people they'll understand that you have made some changes or you've made some notes or concerns whatever you want to raise and if the drawing comes to you in this way and it's got these clouds the person who has last had it has, has made some sort of contribution to it and that's the uh, that's the convention and lastly there's this one here and this last one converts a, uh, a polygon so if I take a rectangle here what I do with this one is I um, I select the rectangle and then I click onto this I, I double click but I'm, I think one click is enough here you you can put a tolerance in for how much th the thing will bend but if we just accept what it's got uh, now when we select it we can still do the usual sorts of things like this you know but if we do the select edit tool and select it. Now we're, we're again on here we've got these nodes and we can do this sort of thing and that sort of thing. So we can make more and of course then if you just use the select mode then you're back to being able to edit it in that way. And uh, that's it really though they're as simple as that they're all quite straightforward. And uh, so that's your lot.